Hey there, TRW Crew, Matt Masawa here with TheRhinestoneWorld.com. So in this quick video, I'm going to show you our new material, our magic flock. So this is a rhinestone template material that we came out with that we feel like is going to help all of you a lot with your rhinestone transfers and obviously increase your margins for what your business is making when you're producing such transfers. And I want to go over a couple of the different benefits of what this material will do for you, okay? So first thing is the color, okay? We changed the color and the reason why is we found out from testing all the different colors and all the color stones and the backing color, some materials out there are too dark. So the darker, the grays and the dark blues and everything like that, black template materials, the stone and the glue on the back of the stones is normally a dark gray. So it makes it hard to see if there's an actual stone turned upside down or not. So color was a key factor in what we were doing here. And obviously it's gonna help you visibly see when you're brushing in your stones, whether they're in there or not. Okay, so that's obviously gonna save you some time. More importantly, cost, okay? We did, we, and we were able to reduce the cost of the material, it's still 12 inches by five yards, okay? But the cost is significantly less, which is going to increase your margins, which is awesome. Next thing is we changed the flock fibers, okay? So the flock fibers are not as long. And the reason we did this is when the flock fibers are not as long, the stones will brush around and glide a little bit easier. And the smaller stones, more importantly, like the SS6s in the design I'm gonna sample here, are much easier to brush in. So a lot of you that are using some of the different flocks right now, the SS6s are a nightmare. Our goal was to make those a whole lot easier. Now next, cutting. Okay, because the flock fibers are shorter, the material is different, the adhesive is different, it's gonna make it a lot easier for your vinyl cutter to cut it. Silhouette Cameo, no issues. Silhouette Portrait, no issues. GCC Expert, all the way to the Jaguar, to the Roland, to the Graph Tech. Any vinyl cutter can cut this material because it is a little bit thinner, a little bit easier for the blade to get through the material, and you can also cut it at lower pressures and lower settings. So for example, you might be cutting a material now at 120, 130 grams of downforce, for example, you might be cutting this at 80 or 90 grams of downforce. So the less downforce, the less wear and tear on your cutter, the less wear and tear on the motor, the less wear and tear on your blade, your cutting strip, everything, which is obviously going to save you money. So what I did is I cut this template right here. So it's a follow me to the beach design, SS10s and SS6s. We created the design in the TRW Design Wizard software for CorelDRAW. I'm gonna show you just weeding this material real quick with the cut and then brushing in to create the transfer that we have right here that's perfect, perfect transfer with sixes and tens and the sixes were brushing in just as easy as the tens which was amazing. So easier to brush in, easier to cut, less as far as your cost, what more can you ask for than the magic flock, okay? So let's go ahead and get this material cut and weeded. Okay, so we cut this on the GCC Jaguar 4. You can see that the cut just finished. We're gonna go ahead and weed it here. Now, this is the SS10s, and we're gonna go ahead and pull this, and you can see we got a perfect weed with that one there. And I cut this here at a speed of 60 and a force of 70. So I only have to use 70 for my downforce with my two plus cut with the TRW Design Wizard. And then my SS6s, same settings obviously smaller stones and smaller holes and you can see how easy that weed is. All right, so we're now over here at our workstation. So I'm gonna go ahead and this is a multi-stone size design here. So with the magic flock, because the flock fibers are shorter, it makes it easier to brush in our SS6 stones, which are always normally a nightmare. So I'm gonna grab my real small SS6 crystal stones here and just go ahead and use my monster brush and we're gonna start brushing these in, okay? So again, just like you would your SS10s, I'm gonna go in big circles. I'm just gonna brush either down or up. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush down here. I see one stone that needs fixing right there. Brush these off to the side here, and it looks like that area up there is all good. So I got one stone right here. That looks wonderful there. And then brush down to this line right here 
and those are all perfect there. So I just brushed in all of those SS6 stones that easy with the Magic Flock template material. So let's go ahead and get my sixes out of here now, okay? Because I'm done with my sixes, and now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my hot fix tape and get my first layer, then I can layer the Magic Flock right on top of it, and we can do our SS10 stones. So SS6 stones are out of the way now. I'm gonna grab my hot fix tape here. I'm gonna have basically my anchor off to the left side right here. So I'm just gonna drop this down basically right at the edge there. That looks wonderful there. All I'm doing now is making sure I'm touching each of these stones here, which all look good. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull up our hot fix tape. All right, so now that we have our stones off to the side here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab my SS10 and just layer it perfect. As you know, the TRW Design Wizard makes it so you can layer all of your designs perfect and your templates. So now I'm gonna grab my SS10 stones, go ahead and dump those. So we got over a thousand stones in this design here for our SS10. So we can go ahead and start brushing these around here. And again, because the flock fibers are a lot shorter, it allows you to brush the stones in a lot easier, especially on top of another flock material like we're layering here. So I'm just getting the edge of it here, brushing these around, go around the edge here, and you can see I'm not really paying attention to if the stones are going in. I'm just kind of going in those big circles like I talked about. And then once you feel like most of the stones are in, that's when you can start brushing your stones away in a straight line. If you see one that you missed, just bring another little group over there. But this design here has over 1,400 stones in it. So just to give you an example, if I were using one of the $35,000 cams machines, it would take longer than what it's taking me to do with the templates here because it places around 150 stones a minute is what it says, but you're normally real time around 120 to 130 stones a minute, okay? So we're looking good here. I got one stone there I need to fix. And you can see I'm just working my way outside of the design. And if I see any stones are out of place or stacked on top, I just move them out of the way and we are perfectly good here. So I'm just gonna check for any stones that might be laying on top of others. Everything looks pretty good here. And I can go ahead and bring my template down and all I'm doing is bringing my transfer down from where it was and check out how that lines up perfectly. So now I just need to go in, make sure I touch all of these SS10 stones. And the reason why I did the sixes first is because the tens will sit up a little bit higher. So it's easy to do this second area right here. And it's easier to brush in the SS10 stones second. So once I pull this up, look at that, every single stone came up perfectly for me. I will grab the carrier sheet of my hot fix tape. We can drop this right back down here. All right, so there we go. You can see how easy the SS6 stones brushed in. Obviously the SS10s, because of the changes we made in material, because of the difference with the fibers, because of the difference with the adhesive. And another cool thing is because we did make a few of those changes, we can actually get our stones a little bit closer together. We didn't make the adhesive as tacky, which is it, it isn't going to stick to that workstation as much. So when you pull it up, sometimes you'll get it to where the holes will rip. Because we took a little bit out of that adhesive, it allows us to get these circles a little bit closer together, a little more dense, which gives you a beautiful design like this one here. So again, awesome looking transfer that we are now ready to sell. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy the magic flock that we came out with for your rhinestone templates. You can go ahead and click right here to get to the magic flock on the website. But if you have any questions, just give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696. This is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com and you guys all have a wonderful day.